Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for the mobile device. We're continuing on with our walk through the game, so thank you guys so much for being here. At the same time, same place, every day. Welcome to day number 12 in a row, and today we have some very, very cool news because we have another event within an event. It's like Eventception that's happening. I'll give you guys all the details in just a moment, but before we get started, I do want to say shout out to my friends over at Google Play. They totally hooked us up with some very awesome gift cards. We've got five $50 gift cards that were given away to a lot of you guys. The newly redesigned card is gonna get physically shipped to one of you guys. If you guys want information on that, uh, definitely take a look in the, uh, in, the, in the description below. But yeah, we're good on that one. It's gonna be so much fun. You can use these funds in order to, I don't know, get Super Mario Run. Fire Emblem Heroes, if you guys are fans of that game. I know I am. Or of course, any other mobile games uh, that you guys can use them for. It's gonna be super fun. So anyway, shout out to all you guys. And then of course, right over here, I told you on the previous episode, we would go through the, um, all the sponsor little bell bags that we're doing. I kind of rearranged a little bit here. My lines aren't as straight, <laughs> but don't worry, we got it. So uh, this is our sponsor hype area. So if you guys become a sponsor, not only do you have access to Abdali Emoji, you earn double smash coins, you get entered into a $50 Google Play giveaway, and of course, you'll also get one of these awesome bell bags with your name on it and a free shout out all the way throughout. So we got a couple extra ones over here. Let's kind of fill up this bottom row. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, let me know, what do you guys think? I got all my Animal Crossing Amiibo over here. Looks Looks pretty epic. So anyway, I think we're ready to do this. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the new update. It's a five day update. Uh, I think that Animal Crossing is, uh, the dev team is definitely listening to a lot of our feedback that we're giving. Um, one of my main feedback uh, that I like to say is that the animals aren't generous enough. You're getting one little piece of essence and one little piece of wood and cotton and so on and so forth. So, <laughs> here's what's going on. We'll go over it together so that we know what's happening here. So here we go, new animals arriving. We got Antonio and Blue Bear. They're on our thumbnail. I thought they were pretty cool. A lot of you guys like Blue Bear, which is super fun. We're gonna go over this. We're gonna go over comment question of the day, and then we're gonna jump into our town and see what's new and exciting. So if you guys are excited for the episode, definitely smash the like button. Let's do this. All right, so here we go, new animals arriving. They're here. We've also added some of their favorite furniture. Craft an animal's favorites and you can host him or her at your campsite and then they might ask you to craft one of the following items. All right, blue bear, you get the papa bear. You get the mouth of truth. I'm very curious about the mouth of truth. Let me know if you guys have Antonio maxed out already. <laughs> some of you guys are that hardcore. But if you press the mouth of truth, does it make that sound effect when the mouth opens up? That's what I want to know. All right, so you got uh, Phoebe, uh, pretty cool. I don't know why they'd reuse the shirt though. Like, isn't another animal's favorite shirt that shirt? All right, whatever. Uh, you got the rattle, the doctor's desk, okay. And this is called host the most initiative. So this is pretty cool. So right now it's easier than ever to raise your friendship level with animals. For a limited time, friendships will grow more quickly than usual when completing requests. It's a great chance to grow the crowd at your campsite. So that's interesting, right? So this is also confirming new animals and furniture will appear at regular times. That's great, that's good. Constant updates, we like that stuff. New animals may not appear until you reach a certain level. We already know that. New furniture may not be available until you craft a certain level, sure. And to host new animals at your campsite, you'll need to fulfill their uh, special requests, cool. So that's it. That's pretty cool. That's very exciting for me. Uh, I've been wanting more animals, I guess. I'm really not at the point where I'm like so maxed out on every animal that I'm like waiting for new content. I'm not at that point, but I am at the point where I appreciate the extra bonus on friendship. Because if you take a look, I've been super stingy with my, uh, my materials and I really haven't been focusing on building stuff. So now I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna build whatever I want, whatever I can so that I got something going on overnight. Because if I don't have something going on overnight, then we're just wasting time. So what I did was I just grabbed whatever and I'm just starting to build. Because eventually you're gonna need to craft, I would say at least one of everything in the game, maybe. So yeah, that's exactly how it is. So you guys can see over here, I spent the cotton, I spent the steel, the wood, whatever, I don't even care. <laughs> because we have all that access uh, available in the My Nintendo catalog. So keep that in mind. The My Nintendo catalog, we got a lot of these missions complete. 
I've got uh, 1040 of these coins and I could easily use them for 20 wood, 20 steel, 20 cotton, so on and so forth, preserves. Uh, no, you're not gonna use them for leaf tickets. No, that's, no, I'm not gonna do that. All right, but anyway, that's exactly what we're doing. So, uh, one of the ways that you guys can earn one of these sweet $50 Google Play gift cards is to answer the comment question today. That leads us to the previous episode's comment question. Let's take a look. So, on episode 11, you guys can see right over here, uh, the 200K loan episode, which is pretty great. We paid it off, thanks to all of you guys. I asked you guys, what do you like more, fishing or bug catching? And, let's take a look. Sandman8 says fishing because it's more easy uh, in other games and you don't need to sneak up on them. Uh, it's more easy in the other games? I don't know if it's easier. I think it's easier here. Sure. I'll give you the thinking emoji. I enjoy catching bugs because they bug around. Uh, that's a laughing emoji. <laughs> uh, Chelsea says, I like fishing because they spawn faster than the bugs. You can catch a ton of resources really fast for requests. And for the market boxes, that is true. Good job. Yeah, you know what? That's true. The bugs don't really spawn that much. All right, Orchid Emperor says, I prefer bug catching. The bugs respawn a lot faster than the fish do. What? We got conflicting stories here. <laughs> catching uh, the bugs a lot faster as well. The lure sometimes drifts too far from a fish and I'm sitting there waiting. And I don't um, like reeling the lure to try again for fear the fish will be scared away. See, you know what? That's kind of my thought process too. That's my thought process. And that's kind of why I don't really like fishing because like you may get a bad cast uh fishing but i don't know why bug catching because i like to see what i'm going instead of um yeah instead of random by size shape yeah sure lady wizard all right tara i need both in order to appreciate the other that's true i would uh, it would get tedious to only catch bugs or vice versa when i'm tired of grinding for bugs i hit the water I need to explore the honey and net concept further <laughs> save your tickets <laughs> those things are rare uh, you're right. You're right. Those are really rare. All right. We'll read one more. Uh, Russell says, uh, if we're talking about pocket camp, I love catching more because it's faster than fishing and my beetles that I put in the market seem to sell well. Yeah. When I'm coming on board, <laughs> if we're talking about other games, like in New Leaf, I enjoy fishing more because I caught myself, uh, the rare bugs in the island so much that I got bored of it. Yes. Yes. There's the hug emoji. I think that is. All right, cool. No, we're going to do one more. Uh, Owen. Uh, bug catching, cause in my opinion, I think it's easier than fishing. I don't like waiting to see what fish I'm going to get. But that's part of the surprise, dude. I kind of like that about fishing. Because, you know, you never know if you're going to be pulling up, uh, an olive flounder and out of nowhere you get a football fish, right? Dang. Oh, I haven't experienced that yet, but a lot of you guys have. All right, so that's pretty cool. That was our comment question today. We'd like to review that stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's give some shout outs to some people who want to help out. All right, so I got some items on board. Any of you guys that are sponsors, feel free, come on, do it. We got Chelsea over here. Thank you for buying those. Orchid, thank you for buying my two fish. And of course, Chelsea, thank you for buying that big base. I mean, bass. <laughs> All right, here we go. So that's pretty decent. Uh, what should we do? You know what I didn't do today? Oh, Shovel Strike Quarry. I didn't do that today because I didn't see the, um, I didn't see the candy canes pop up. So that's a great thing to do right now. What do you guys say? You guys up for some Shovel Strike Quarry? I'll totally put up the comments. I'll put up the comments and then we can talk. We can totally talk. Let's do it. Alright, you must be here for the famous tour. We haven't seen a sapphire or a ruby since like the first episode. So, I don't know if those even exist anymore. Like, in that brand new update, they're just like, ah, we'll get rid of those. Alright, so here we go. Let's find a lot on screen. A lot on one screen. Ooh, here's a lot on one screen. So this is going to be- Oh gosh! I ex- <laughs> Whoever said the bottom one, you get it. Alright, here we go. Um, that was a misclick! <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. This is gonna be right here. You got four chances, guys. Wow. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, you can see that right here. This, this one right here is one. And then the other one all the way across is two. This is number three, and the one next to it is four. Five, six, seven, and then eight all the way on the other side. So, here we go. <laughs> what do you guys, what do you guys want? Just throw me some numbers and I'll type them down. It'd be pretty fun. And then you guys, if, whoever says like the ones that are good, we're gonna do it. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have Jennifer, seven. 
Oh my gosh. Aw, oh, Scott, man. Don't spam. Don't do that. That's rude. Uh, let's see. Just for that, I'm not picking four. <laughs> uh, Cameron says three. Sonic Tonic, one. Uh, Patrick... Uh, no, Patrick said four. Uh, Brady, I already got three, dude. We need one more. Give me one good one. Uh, give me eight. Luke. Luke Krull. All right. So, seven, three, one, eight. Seven, three, one, eight. So, let's start with, uh... So, that's gonna be one. One. So, it's gonna be this guy. To this guy. One, three. And then seven, eight. Okay, so the bottom ones. All right. So, we're gonna do... Yeah, yeah. Here we go. One, three. One. Dang it. Three. Dang it. Seven. Dang it. Eight. Double dang it. Come on, man. Like, what's the deal? It's just... It's not a thing anymore, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. We get our candy canes and we call it a day. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, today marks the day when we have an abundance of candy canes. I carelessly used a lot of my leave tickets to get extra admissions into the Shovel Strike Quarry. And by doing so, I netted a good 100, maybe 150 uh, candy canes so far. But, as you guys can see over here, we have one of each of them, and, oh, we're very close. Wait, no, 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 we're gonna get it. We gotta pick it up, though, that's the thing. Like, why would I have to pick it up in the mailbox? I was right there, just hand it to me. <laughs> Come on, Lloyd. All right, Lloyd is definitely not our Boyd. All right, here we go, so take a look at it. We have now enough to craft our very first three ball snowman. I've never actually heard a snowman like referred to as three ball, but uh, sure, we got enough to do it. But my uh, my benches are kind of working right now. Oh, except for this, yeah, forget it. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's go. I don't know what this record box is, but apparently it's a box that holds records. Great. Dude, here we go. You got this. You guys are gonna witness this. We are gonna have the full Holiday set minus the stocking. No one knows when that's gonna be coming out. Hopefully uh, Hopefully that'll come out like on Christmas Day or something like that. So here we go There's gonna be one hour 800 bells and 300 Candy canes later. So what am I gonna do with the extra candy canes? Sell them for 10 bells a pop? No way. You must be outro. I guess I'm gonna make an army full of snowmen I guess or maybe another snowman fence or something like what would you guys do more presents another Christmas tree another uh, lamp like what's the deal what would you do with it I don't know it is indeed Marita uh, says it is indeed beginning to look a lot like Christmas <laughs> all right good job that was awesome so we got some people let's do some rounds let's do our rounds and we'll go from there more ju j jingle fence, jungle fence. Brendan ZD, Z ZD says. All right, cool. All right, let's take a look. Give me these oranges. And we got a monkey. All right, so let's take a look. Now, uh, you guys may be wondering, okay, so what's the boosted friendship all about, right? What's the boosted friendship in this new, like, host the most event? What's the deal with that? Well, you get a plus one on everything that you do. From my experience, please tell me if I'm uh, if you have a different experience. But it's a plus one above normal. I guess that's good, right? If you're if you're thinking about it, if he only gives you like, <laughs> if he only gives you one plus in affection, then uh, a plus one's fifty percent more. Whoa! <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's really nothing. Watch, watch. Here we go. So it's a plus three. That, that would normally give you a plus two. Here we go, you green-eared monkey. <laughs> oh, man. Green-eared monkey. Yeah, flip. Watch. Hey, dude. Hey, bud. Yeah, I know. Everyone's looking for you. Who's here? You guys recognize that meow? Hi, boy. It's not dinner time, but thanks for trying. Dinner time is at the end of the stream, dude. All right. 
So, green monkey. <laughs> you guys think it's Milo? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's do this. Uh, you guys want to see a cat? Who's here? Only if you get it right. <laughs> this is the real Animal Crossing. He's This animal is literally crossing underneath my legs right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right, all right. You guys wanted to see him. Let's go. Who's here? Who's here? Who's this boy? Who's this boy? All right. Hey. All right. That's my man. That's my man. Gimme. So Gizmo's here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Gizmo had some really good test results. Remember I told you I had to take Gizmo to the vet? His test results came back normal for his thyroid. That's good. Who's a good 17 year old cat with a normal thyroid? And uh, his kidney levels are normal high. They're like on the, the high part of normal. So that's good. That's good for him. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, baby boy? Yeah? Okay. I think, uh, <laughs> I think we'll leave Gizmo over here. Good job, Gizmo. All right, we're here. What's, uh, oh, hey, oh, thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Are you showing off? You showing off to every- Oh, is that your phone? Okay, you can have it. You gotta feed this monkey, though. Alright, if you take the phone, then that means that you gotta feed the monkey. Alright, what's Gizmo's favorite Animal Crossing amiibo? <laughs> oh, there's another cat. What is this, like, cat hour? What are we doing here? This is, what, this is not Abdal on the cat show. We're playing Animal Crossing Pocket Cat. Alright, so we're done talking to the monkey. Uh, training like a madman, sure. Uh, where did I hear that before? Jay? Jay says that a lot? Alright, let's talk to you. We're gonna go talk to Cherry. Gimmo. Hey, dude. Hey, buddy. Here, look at everyone. Gimmo, look, look at everyone. Oh. <laughs> is that your hand? Yes, it is. Isn't that right? Oh, Milo's floating around. I don't know if we'll get Milo, but... It'd be pretty rare if Milo uh, comes on stream. All of you guys, how many of you guys have ever seen Milo? Let me know in the comments if you've seen him on a previous video. But see, like, that's a great, that's the beauty about Animal Crossing, is that you can pet your cat with one hand, and you can play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp with the other. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. A lot of you guys have. What color is Milo? Is Milo a black cat? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to tell me. I, I forget what color Milo is. All right, who's this boy? Who's this boy who wants early dinner? Sorry, old man. Gizmo's like the ringleader for the cats. He'll like come down, he'll come downstairs to the basement where I do all my recording, and he'll, uh, like I hear him coming down because he's an old man, he doesn't, oh, I don't think so, dude, you're not coming up there. He's an old man and he takes like one step at a time. He puts all of his paws on one step. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> so I could hear him coming a mile away. And I'm like, all right, it's three o'clock, dude. I'm like, come on, what are you, oh, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. Okay, fine, he's done it. Fizmo. <laughs> Fizmo, Fizmo's on the desk. Are we gonna, here, let's cut to this. Oh, there's a Fizmo tail. What, Gizmo, what are you doing, boy? <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Let's go, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin all my lines? <laughs> what is this cat interrupting the stream? Gizmo, I know everyone loves you, and I know it's called Animal Crossing, but you need to come down. <laughs> Boy. Oh, look at you're taking some of the- oh my gosh, Gizmo! My analytical side is going crazy right now. Alright, alright, don't worry. We're, you know what? We're, we're playing Animal Crossing, right? We're having fun. Give me this cat. Give me this baby. Ugh, you're in jail, dude. All right, you're in jail. You're in jail. You're in cat jail, stay there. Stay. Good boy. All right. <laughs> stay in cat jail. I have to keep my arm like this so that he rests it on something. What are we, this is like a cat circus, Gizmo. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, you're stuck. You're in jail now, boy. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah, you're in jail. What do you- Oh my gosh. That's- That's a very cool circus trick, buddy. Yeah, look at those sponsors. That's- <laughs> Who's gonna become a new sponsor for Gizmo? Come on now. You can't- Oh my gosh. What, 
Jailbreak. All right. That was fun. <laughs> uh, that was actually kind of funny. I'm gonna put him in cat jail. All right, hey, let's go to Starburst Island and uh, continue playing, right? <laughs> Give me that beetle. Oh, believe it or not, I used to call these things like jewel beetles, but that's actually not their name. It's a fruit beetle. Hey, Andrew Lee coming on board as a sponsor for Gizmo. That's what I'm talking about, see? See, Andrew Lee? That's what I'm talking about. Good job. <laughs> Who's gonna sponsor for Cat Jail? Gizmo, you might be a reoccurring thing on our Let's Play series now. Well, look at the aftermath here. How am I gonna get Andrew Lee on here? That's a Gizmo sponsor. All right. Andrew Lee. <laughs> uh... All right, Andrew Lee, that's for you. Thank you so much, Gizmo appreciates it. I will make sure that uh, Gizmo gets an extra treat today for dinner. Oh my gosh. Like what in the world? Ah, ah, right? <laughs> How many guys, raise your hand in the comments if you would be the same way. If like you had everything like perfectly lined up and then like your brother or your friend came over and just messed it all up. You're like, no. <laughs> All right, thank you so much again, Andrew. That really means the world to me. Thank you. All right, let's continue on. What are we doing? We are talking to you. No, we're not. We're catching this bug. Boom. A lot of you guys. A lot of you guys would do that. I can see that. Here, let's actually show that I'm not alone. A lot of you guys feel like, ah. Oh, me? I would be so mad. No, I mean, it's not really something to get mad about, but it's just something that you're like, oh, okay, come on, let's let's fix that. I have an undying urge to fix my, uh, the straight lines and everything. It's just being analytical. That's all. <laughs> Who's this mysterious person behind the umbrella here? Giving away all these resources, these valuable resources. All right, here we go. It's Tex-Mex. I'm gonna be having some Tex-Mex later on in uh, in January. I, I just remembered about that. Pack South is happening. Milo, you're okay, dude. Pack South is happening in January. Who's going? What's up, Picante? Dude, I almost got this guy maxed out. Here we go. Take these pails. <laughs> uh, 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 you guys are funny. I love reading your comments. You guys are so hilarious. All right. Did you guys hear Milo? Is it that loud? Like, you can hear him from behind the screen over here? Maybe. He's a crazy boy. All right, here we go. Boom! Plus three. Maxed out at level 10. I got my Tex Mex sandwich. And we're good. We're good. Boom. Done. All right, Tex-Mex, we are out of here. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of characters that are maxed. Like, it's no joke. I really just need the amenities. I'm not really sure why the game doesn't allow us to craft more than one amenity at one time. I paid the 80, uh, <laughs> I paid the 80 tickets, the 160 tickets for the extra benches, but of course, that doesn't work that way. So not a big deal. All right, so where are we at? We're at 24 minutes up. Why don't we do this? We're gonna go here. We're gonna go talk to all our people in this area. Now, this is the island of all my maxed units, simply because I don't want my maxed units in the island rotation. So I keep them all in here. Uh, I guess that's a strategy, cool. Uh, it's also the reverse strategy too. Like if you want a unit to, or sorry, if you want a villager, if you want a villager to be like really, really leveled up fast, I would totally say put them in your camp so you get a guaranteed way of talking or interacting with them every uh, rotation, so every like three hours. So that's pretty cool. There's a couple ways of doing it. I like to make this like max animal jail. <laughs> kind of like Gizmo. I like to make all my max animals in here so they're not in the rotation wasting time. So this is good. Now you may think that I'm wasting time with talking to my max animals, uh, but I'm actually not. As you can see over there, we talked to a max Goldie and she hooked me up with two essence and two of whatever material, which is pretty great. And occasionally they'll give you bells and whatnot, but this is where it's at. You know, getting the two uh, woods, getting the two steels, getting some materials. 
So here's Apollo and that pizza that's been there for like 12 days. <laughs> Almost. No, I'm no, do not give him the three fish. Do not. He's already eaten today. He needs to eat his pizza before he eats his fish. All right, Apollo, you got me? Nice, more materials, give me two fur. Yes, yes. See, that's generous. That's what I'm talking about. The game should be more like that. All right, uh, how about this, Jay? Let's talk. All right, some of you guys are already asking for me to go visit your towns. We'll do that a little bit later, don't worry. And then we still have to find any sponsors that I haven't added into this game. We'll totally get you added. And then, uh, of course, uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? I gotta find Andrew. Andrew, if you're still watching, come on board, dude. Give me that Animal Crossing um, friend code and we'll get it going. All right, here's Bobo. Bobo's pizza, come on Bobo. No, Bobo just talked to me. Bobo, give me your stuff, man. All right, let's talk, let's talk. Here we go, you're very generous. This elephant is very generous. Eloise. Dude, I need these amenities, man. I should have been doing amenities since day one. <laughs> I really should have. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at market boxes. Hey, we got some people. Chris A buying those bugs. We got Sakura buying those fish. Thank you. We got Sin with the glasses. Awesome. And of course we got Sakura. Thank you guys. Uh, we have a couple more very rare bugs. I might, I might say that they're very rare. Feel free to come on by and pick them up if you want. All right, so what are we doing? If you guys have any resources, I could totally refill. Like that's kind of where I'm at right now. We take a look at my inventory. I've got about 50 slots to refill. Uh, and I caught this thing today. Check this out. I caught this jewel beetle for the very first time. I've seen a lot of you guys with them in your market boxes, but in 12 days of playing this game, I've come across my very first one. This one's called a jewel beetle. And this is just the fruit beetle. So jewel beetle we caught. Uh, remember we caught a live red snapper during one of the episodes. And we also caught that rare blue beetle <laughs> and the emperor butterfly. Yeah, that was kind of funny. All right, so what do I need? Here's the question. I need coconuts. Uh, I could go for some more yellow butterfly. Apples. Uh, I need some, do I need, no, I'm good on pails. Uh, what's this black one? Crucians. CCs, we can call them CCs, right? Hook them up with some CCs. Close combat, <laughs> close counter. <laughs> I'm good with these fish. Like, I'm, I'm pretty good on stuff. So I'm really just looking for those rare beetles. So whatever you guys want to do. All right, so before we go visiting people's camps, uh, what do you? What else is there to do? I think we're set. How about Lily? I need two coconuts. So let's go pick up the coconuts. We're gonna go talk to Lily and then we'll be done with our rounds. Then we'll jump into sponsor only chat. Congrats to Chelsea in the comments. Uh, says you caught a blue butterfly yesterday. Congratulations, that's awesome. Tori says you never got a blue butterfly. Yeah, they're pretty rare. I came across them like, oh my gosh, and we just randomly got it. All right. Close counter for pineapple, maybe, maybe. Get this dog. What can I do for you, amigo? Oh, you think I'm your amigo. Wait, how did you get out? Are you maxed? Hold on, is she maxed? No, she's not maxed. That's how I'm like, how'd you get out of jail? <laughs> Oh, Tara says, I've yet to see a blue butterfly. Uh, Cameron, you have a concert today. Well, good luck with the concert. What are you singing? You playing an instrument? What do you do? All right. Just shaking these trees. Come here, you little one. Uh, indeed, there are no bananas in this game. Banana is not a, uh, a Animal Crossing fruit. Believe it or not, you don't get bananas in any Animal Crossing games. <laughs> you get cherries, perfect cherries. Apples, bananas, oranges. All right, so remember we talked about our comment question today. I don't think I even talked about our question today today. It's gonna be what animal do you want in the game and why? So I'm looking forward to reading all your comments on that. Who do I want in this? Oh man, I'll tell you. And a lot of you guys know who I want in this game already, right? So here we go. Guess who I want? And the correct guess gets a shout out. 
I guess there's two animals. One obvious one, which I've already said, so if you've been paying any attention, then sure. But then there's another one that I want. So, here we go. Here we go. Which animal do I want? Let's take a look. Who says it first? All right. So, Orchid Empress. Yes, absolutely. I want Chief. Yes. And Gizmo... I don't know if Gizmo is an actual name of an Animal Crossing animal. There's 500 of the animals and I don't have them all memorized. Sorry. So yes, Chief is right. And Xander actually. Yeah, yeah. See? Xander, I totally wanted Jingle. You know, I want Jingle to be here. Like, why not? I know he's super, like... He's super limited. He's not a normal animal that comes to your town and moves in. But having Jingle, at least for like a month, and then he goes away. To give you a month to earn his picture frame. Imagine that. Okay, so imagine like, once the five days of this little event is over with, they say, all right, Jingle's coming to town. Come on board, befriend Jingle every single day. If you get him to level 20, you can earn his thing. But he's only available throughout, uh, up until Christmas. Until, sorry, not Christmas, but December 25th. Because <laughs> you can't say Christmas. Wait, can you say Christmas in the game? I don't know, can you? Is there anything that says Christmas in the game? Does it say Christmas tree or holiday tree? I don't know, you gotta be really politically correct uh, uh, when it comes to that stuff. Is there anything that says Christmas? No, no, it's all jingle and festive. Yeah, 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 you can't say Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to be really politically correct. Um, so yeah, that would be the coolest thing. I want jingle to come on board. How hard is it to program that? I mean, you have all the, the framework for animals. You could just program in jingle's picture. You program in an exclusive, oh my gosh, what if? That's how you get the missing item in the set. Raise Jingle to level 15. Whoa. All right, here's a little bit of context so you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, so if you go over here to catalog, if you go to exclusives, click on here, I have 16 out of 17. I have everything minus this right here, right? So this is the stocking. Whoa, what if I just predicted what's gonna happen? But I know, no, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna get this some way, shape, or form, but Jingle's not gonna come to our town, man. I'll hold my, I won't hold my breath. All right, anyway, so that's a pretty cool thing, though. I would like that. Raise your hand in the comments if you would like Jingle in your town for the month up until December 25th uh, for you to befriend him and have him on board uh, for a little bit and then earn his stuff and then he gets out of here. That would be really fun. Let me know. Okay, hey, who is this in the yellow? Russell, dang, dude. Nice, you totally stand out. Thanks, Russell. Hey, yo, Russell. Nice, see, that's what I'm talking about. All you guys in the chat right now. We want it, we want it, make it happen. Keep us entertained before the Animal Crossing hype dies down. We don't want the Animal Crossing hype to die down. So we're here, we're doing our part to help promote uh, what Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is all about. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what are we doing? Uh, what else have we got? Um, kudos from so-and-so. We got kudos from people. That's very nice and all. Okay, anyway, sponsor-only chat. Let's do it. Since we have the sponsor uh, thing up right now, let's go. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious about that. Like, what's going to happen? How are we going to get this mysterious jingle thing all the way? I don't know. We'll see. Let me know. Okay. Uh, Jody. <laughs> I love the cats, they're super adorable. The cats are adorable. They are very, they're very funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when you're trying to get Blue Bear, but you need to level and you're at a high level, so it's hard to level. Yeah, yeah, Blue Bear. You like Blue Bear? Blue Bear is finally here. Is that your character that you're looking for? Hey, Chris, what's happening? Hey, Admiral, hey, Martin Jr. Tara, one of my favorite moments is when one of the cats is on the desk, prior to no cats on the desk rule, you look up and not a moment later, the light source comes crashing down. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> I think that happened a long time ago. It was upstairs when I was uh, when I did recordings upstairs. So yeah, that sounds hilarious. Okay, uh, go see Sin and Glasses. I got goodies in the box. Okay, I might do that. Ooh, here's Andrew. Nice, that's what I was aiming for. Here we go, friends, add friends. Everyone in the chat, add Andrew, okay? Just add each other, we'll call it a day. Enter an ID. Here we go, 4606, 
Uh, five, two, three, two, three, nine, six. You know what? Become friends, add each other, and help each other out whenever you need to go to Shovel Strike Quarry, right? Good. Okay, um, since we're talking about Jingle, can you sing the song Jingle Bells? No, I don't know the lyrics, man. <laughs> Birthday's on the 21st. Befriending Jingle would be awesome. Yes. How much... Uh, how much you love your cats and also my Animal Crossing makes me happy. Yay! All right. Uh, the lounge is a lot of fun. Oh, cool. I'm glad you're enjoying that. Come visit Lynn. She's got goodies in there. All right. Here I come. Oh, no. I mean, that's usually what we do at the end of the stream anyway. There's not enough content to for me to like do more than like 15, 20 minutes of actual stuff in the game. So <laughs> the stream is just really us hanging out together. And uh, I guess Animal Crossing is just an avenue for us to chat and, and hang out, right? So yeah, I mean, I, I, I could kind of like align the streams where it's like almost moving time, like in an hour and 23 minutes from now. So what, 6 p.m.? If I did these streams at 5.30, I would do one little batch, it would change the rotation, then I could do the next batch. But the timing has to be like really strict on that. And I'm not about to go change the timing. Although that would be really cool. In hindsight, I probably should have scheduled it that way. Oh, cool. Jushva. Yes, I think that's how you pronounce it. But hey, welcome. Heck yeah. Dude, do a little bit of sponsor dance. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, cool. Jushva. We're just going to call you J. Or you can give me the phonetical spelling in the comments. But welcome to the team. Sponsor hype. All of you guys on board. J double O S. H V A H. Excellent. J double O S H V A H. Just making sure. Yeah. Sponsor. Hi. There we go. That's for you, bud. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. I got to straighten out these lines, man. I got to get a ruler out. <laughs> I got to get a ruler out and just like put them all in. Now, this is awesome. But yeah, you guys are great. You guys are really good. I can't wait to uh, continue on with this, man. It's very fun. Okay, uh, let's uh, go back to this. Let's show off all of you guys supporting our brand new sponsor with some spice uh, sponsor hype happening over here. So uh, we got some brand new sponsor. Hey, 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 yeah, brand new sponsor, Bob Dance. Bob Dance. We need a Bob emoji for Animal Crossing streams. We could. I'm telling you, I don't know. YouTube Gaming sets their, their standards so high for unlocking new emoji. We could do it. <laughs> okay. I think we could do it. Like, I can change out any of these emoji. So since we're not doing Fire Emblem, I can maybe nix the shield for a little bit and we'll 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 throw a little Bob emoji over there. <laughs> Cause it's, it's fine, because Bob's awesome, right? I want Bob in the game. Comment question of the day. That's it. Is sponsor only chat still on? Where's everyone else? Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> let me out, let me out. <laughs> uh, sometimes I forget that. All right, hey, there we go, Bob Emoji. All right, cool, welcome back everyone. All right, sponsor only chat happening. Uh, yeah, let's let's go. <laughs> All right, don't, we're not forgetting about every single one of you guys that helped uh, fuel the stream, so thank you. All right, uh, what are we doing? I guess we're going to visit some people. Who wants some, uh, who, who wants me to come on board? So, some other people. Uh, Chris A, I gotta give you some uh, some of a hand. Ooh, Chris A, uh, that's too rich for my blood. <laughs> I'm trying to turn a profit, man. Let's go to Lynn. Lynn was calling me out. Lynn, all right, I'm gonna trust you on that. Those top four items are pretty expensive. <laughs> Here's what I found out off screen, which saves me a bunch of time. From right here, I just turn around and look at you and scream, hey, you got any fish? <laughs> All right, is this the right Lynn? I'm not buying any of these. Oh, you know what? Here, uh, never mind. I need some mackerels. Uh, and I need some blackfish. No, this is good. I like that. Some commons. We'll take some commons. Uh, yeah, that's good. But hey, congrats on finding that blue butterfly though, right? All right, where else are we going? Sakura. Sakura's always helping out. Whoa, Sakura, you got a koi? Where did you get that from? Like, honestly, where does one get a koi? It's insane. What the heck? Hey, Sakura, I'm here. 
Okay, what do you got? What do you got for me? Ooh, man, that's some money right there. I will totally pay you 2,000 for those buggies. Ooh, and I will pay you for these buggies too, Sakura. Woo! Yeah, ooh. Black ones. Two for 25K? That's an investment. I don't know if I want to make that investment, but look at this koi though. And, oh my gosh, you have all the rare things. Give me those apples. Dang, I don't know. Those pails. Like, I want to know what I have in my box. I don't want to keep on going back and forth. Like, that's kind of foolish. All right, that's really great. Thanks, Sakura. I, you know, I have to think, I think I have to give one person kudos today. So here we go. And you got some roses growing in the back there. What? Some gold roses? Is that what I saw? No, I didn't. All right, cool. That was great. Uh, who else? Sakura. Jody. Jody, I'm coming. What do we got for me, Jody? Let's look. I got the money. You got the goods? I'm here for you. Let's do this. Jody, Jody. Huh! Ayo, Jody! <laughs> I'm here. What is all this stuff? That's a lot. What? Mm, mm, mm. 10 mackerels. Ooh, man, that's a lot of mackerels. I don't know if I need 10. Look at all these. I need seven butterflies. I'll take those. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 I will. Hmm. Hmm. Blackfish. A pear. One singular pear. Huh. Three cherries. All right, let's see how many mackerels I got. I need some adapt mackerel. All right, let's go. Oh, I got nine mackerel. I think I'm good. Here we go. Another opportunity for you guys to donate some bells to our uh, our campaign over here. We're trying to raise up 250,000 so that we finish our loan and then we could finally get the gold statue. Wink, wink. Because we know it's in the game, right? All right. Let's go. Oh my gosh, fish, bugs. <laughs> See, there we go, exchanging friend codes in the comments. Do it, have fun. Just don't ask me to add you, okay? I'm sorry, I can't add all of you guys. I would love to, but there's a limit on the friends list. Oh, you back for more, huh, old man? Hey, dude. Where's that base? Because I'm all about that base. Oh, man, where's it at? It's not here anymore. All right, so I think I'm good on that. I, I don't think I really need anything else, but we'll, we'll do some visiting. Hey, Andrew, you got some stuff? Oh, dude, you got a two for one? All right, let's go. Sonic Tonic's camper is the exact, col the exact opposite color scheme as mine. Whoa, look at that camper, dang. Alicia Bunbury, thanks for watching my videos, thank you. Okay, what you got for me? Mm, we're gonna do this two for one. We can flip that for a little bit. We're gonna do this two for one. That's okay, we can flip it. Uh, pears, apples, three for three. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't know if I need this butterfly, but I think I'm gonna grab it. And I don't know where I'm at on squids. Like, I just, I really wish the inventory, I, like, I could know. Because the, my inventory changes just so often because uh, you get random stuff. So as long as I have 10 of each of everything, I think I'm good. So I will need some seashells, maybe? Seashells, I'll take some mackerels. Where's the other butterfly? I got that butterfly. No, and then we're just looking for the rare stuff. So yeah, we're good. Cool, man, thanks. Gizmo keeps using headbutt on my leg right now. Old man, don't worry, dude. Whoa, dude, I'm coming, Julian. I'm coming. Those. <laughs> <laughs> Those snappers, dude. <clears throat> hey, yo, Julian. Nice glasses, buddy. All right, here we go. Taking this. Dang, dude. Wait, no, I didn't want that. Nah, eh, that was okay. We'll flip it. Two thousand for two. Give me these mackerels. I will take those for eighty. What else we got? Uh, five of those. Two for twenty-five ninety. Like what? Just randomly like hold the button down. All right, here we go. Buying some stuff. Who's this? Christina. Hey, hey, Christina. What's going on? Dang, spending 8k on bugs. What are you gonna do with those bugs? Gonna try to flip them? <laughs> I don't know. What's the point? Oh, uh, thank you so much, Sakura too. All right, let's go. Who else are we visiting? 
Anita, hello. Lending you a hand. I want, I want some rare, not like super rare, like ultra rare, like tunas. But hook me up with some of those baby bugs. Russell usually has a good selection. Right here, done, I'm coming, dude. See, we're like trading, Russell buys them and I buy them back and we just trade them back and forth. <laughs> In an exchange of bells. <clears throat> Russell, dude, I love the get up. Going all yellow, kind of like me all green the other day. That is awesome. That's really cool. Russell, man, give me these bugs. 10 for 5K. Get these, we're gonna spend all of our money. Coconuts, I'll take these guys off your hands. Little olive flounder. Two eyeballs on one side of your face. Ooh, those squids were calling my name though. That was some good price on squids there. <laughs> all right, come on, bug time. Bug with me, guys. We're just trying to get this. We're trying to get this going. Jean twinning? Oh yeah, I bought some jeans today. I totally bought some jeans and that's cool. They were, they were called like acid wash jeans and they cost like 3000 bells. I'm like, what the heck? What is this like high fashion Gracie stuff over here? Like why? But we'll be all right. You know what we should also put in the market box is items and furniture. What do you guys think? I unknowingly buy just everything and I think I have something but I forget that I don't and then vice versa, like I don't have, I like I physically have something and then I go out and then I buy it from like kicks. And now I'm sitting on like two of the same pairs of shoes. Like what do I need the two extra pairs of shoes for? Let me put it on the market in case someone needs it for their completion, right? Oh dude, I'm telling you right there, that's it. That's in Animal Crossing update 2.0. Not only can you list the random stuff you find every day, but you can list furniture. Hey, that would be really cool, all right? All right, what do we got? <clears throat> we don't have an unveiling today, and I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed out. Who else here? Here, Martin. You need some help. I'm lending you a hand. Martin, I don't know if I'm going to go over there. Those prices seem a little extravagant for me. Cam? Oh man, I'm coming, Cam. I heard you call in the comments. <laughs> Let's say hello to Cam. One thing about Animal Crossing is how you physically have to be next to the person to use their market box. You don't. Well, are you talking about like going to their camp? Like, cause I'm yelling at them from all the way over here. I used to walk all the way over, but now I don't have to do that because I figured that out on screen. I was just curious. So give me not those. Uh, I will absolutely take these. No! <laughs> this happened to me earlier today too. An unexpected error occurred. You bought some hacked fish. <laughs> hey, that's a perfect uh, stopping opportunity, right? No, I'm kidding. No one hacks in this game. You know, although I, I have seen some like weird things where people be like, um, Animal Crossing hack, first working, leave tickets hack, all that nonsense. Don't ever click on that stuff. That's just like, uh, don't even do it. Play the game legitimately. And I don't even know if there's anything with that too. Like, you know, don't even, we're not paying any attention to it. Sakura, thank you. Russell, thank you. Sakura, again. Christina, buying more bugs. Sakura. Sakura, dang, Sakura, what are you doing, girl? Just buying out all my stuff. Dang it, who was that? That was Cam? <laughs> I gotta go back, Cam. Hold those bugs, I'm on my way. Cam, Cam, Cam. Cam is Mac spelled backwards. Let's go, Mac. You've never experienced a crash like that before? It actually happened to me one time earlier today. It was, uh, it's, it's when I'm like looking at people's market box and I'm about to buy something, the game just like says, no, you can't have it. And I'm like, uh, but I'm just gonna come back to it. No, it's probably just something with the infrastructure uh, as far as visiting other people's towns that uh, maybe it's just something glitches and you just go from there. Look at all these bugs, Cam. Dang, dude. Ah. I hate bugs unless they're from me, says Christine in the chat. Thanks. I got some really cool bugs. Check these out. 
No, but we're slowly making the bells. We're slowly making the bells to beat the game. Uh, we'll beat the game, right? That's what you guys consider beating it. <laughs> like if you pay off your entire loan. If you pay off your entire loan, is that considered beating Animal Crossing? Or, or actually, here, let me, let me ask you guys. What is, what do you guys consider beating Animal Crossing Pocket Camp? I think beating it... Game? I think there's just a lot of people trying to access my box at one time. I don't know. Uh, Chelsea says that beating the game is maxing out your level and all the villagers. What's max level? Is that even a thing? Has anyone discovered that? I saw some people on like level 60, which is ridiculous and awesome at the same time. What level are you guys at right now? Let me know. Consider 100%ing the catalog is beating it. Okay. Wait, did my bugs disappear? I thought I had more. And the fish, no? I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. I don't think they did. Chelsea's 38. Okay, that's not bad. Cupcake, 38. Uh, Christina's at 36 today. 47 right now is what is listed on uh, the wiki as last animal. Oh, cool. I haven't checked that out, uh, Lady Wizard. That's a good idea. Chris is on level 8. Sonic Tonic, 41. Holy moly, man. Will we hit max level by the end of this? I don't know. I'm playing this game a lot, you guys. <laughs> I'm playing it a lot. I'm finding myself, okay, waking up in the morning, I'm like, all right, cool. I'll eat this while I eat breakfast, or I'll play this while I eat breakfast. And then it's like, okay, nine o'clock is the animal change. So I'm like, all right, fine, nine o'clock. I'll just come in and play for another 15 minutes. I'm like, all right, cool. 12 o'clock here, noontime, lunchtime. Great, I'll just jump in really quick, play what I can do. And it's like, okay. And then it's like three o'clock. Okay, I gotta save these villagers for the live stream. And then like six o'clock, I'm like, oh cool, you know, it's dinner time. It's really crazy. I think they totally planned that out. <laughs> it's insane. And I'm like, ah, oh, do I stay up until midnight? Because after midnight, like, <laughs> after midnight, that's a new rotation and I can quickly do those guys and then go to sleep. Like, what's the deal? What is it? Tell me you guys have those thoughts. And if you don't, good job. Because if you have those thoughts, you there may be a problem. There may be an Animal Crossing problem. Uh, I, yeah, send help. But anyway, let's go visit some more people. Uh, yeah, we, we need some more stuff. Uh. Oh, speaking of cereal, I'm supposed to get my Nintendo cereal today, but it didn't come in the mail. I got an email from Nintendo saying, uh, your Nintendo Super Mario cereal should be arriving today. I'm like, uh, I didn't see it yet, so don't leave me hanging. So tomorrow I might do an upload of uh, the Super Mario cereal from Kellogg's or whatever it is. That's gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna scan it in. All right, uh, I'm gonna taste test it and we're gonna go amiibo functionality. Uh, give me this. Coral. Coral. Oh, you know what we haven't watched. Oh, okay, anyway. Uh, let's do this. Live stream eating it? I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I would like to, but it's more of like a, a structured, <laughs> a structured video <laughs> that I'm gonna like, I, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna plan the upload. Like when I get this cereal on my porch, sent from Nintendo, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make the video? I have to make the video of me scanning it into Super Mario Odyssey. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to like this kind of layout but my, my Super Mario Odyssey layout. And I'll hold my box and do that. But like the taste testing thing, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Should I just like grab a bowl over here and just like start eating it? Like what, what's the deal? <laughs> I could, I could do it live. You know what, I could. I could totally do it live. All right. Yeah, you know what, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll set up the live stream. It'll be in lieu of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. We are, be, we are gonna be eating cereal live in front of a YouTube audience. And that's gonna kickstart my food channel. Why am I picking up apples? That's the, the worst thing you could do. Leave them on the ground until the next one grow. Oh my gosh, it's foolish. Now I'm just like 
hanging out with you guys. We're just chatting. All right, here we go. Who are we gonna see today? I gave all the people that needed or asked me for help. I gave them stuff. So anyone else? Uh, anyone else? Whoa, 10 for two. Cam, I'm coming. I'm on my way. You can eat cereal and talk to you. <laughs> that cereal, folks. Man. Support me by watching me eat. No, I gotta stop eating. I gotta stop eating. Man. I'm watching too many health documentaries. I saw this documentary called What the Health? And it was pretty eye opening. Uh, this is what happens. I don't know, and you guys, like, if you guys are in, whoa, holy moly, if you guys are in, like, a Netflix, like, I don't know, like a burnout, you just flip it over to documentaries and start watching some. Dude, it's crazy. But yeah, this, this is crazy. I'm not going to talk about what happened in the, in the, in the documentary, but it's pretty eye-opening. Man. All right, here we go. We're going to sell some of these bugs. We're going to give some shout-outs to people for the last ones. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. Penny! Thank you, Penny. Thanks. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Cam with that Santa hat. Aaron with that Mario shirt. Dang, what do you like, Alfonso or something? Jay Lovely, hey! I haven't seen you in a while. And of course, Russell. Ayo, Russell. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So I don't have any other things to give. Oh, I could use some seashells. Uh, seashells by the seashore. Anyone else? I can go visit like three more people if you guys want. Tell me if you got some stuff and I'll swing on by. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go pick up my seashells. Everyone's moving in an hour and I gotta go make some dinner. Yeah, dinner after the stream. What's for dinner? I made some chili. I made some chili the other day. It was, uh, it was pretty decent. I actually made myself uh, some burrito bowls and they were amazing and they were like 100% vegetarian. It was great. And it felt like I wasn't eating anything vegetarian. Dude, it's a crazy lifestyle, man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna try it out for a little bit, you know? Cut back on eating meat a little bit. Come a little bit healthier, maybe? Sorta? Why am I talking to you? Where am I going? Uh, Fluffy wants to go. Uh, Tyrion wants to go. Alright, let's go to Fluffy and Tyrion. Oops. Fluffy and Tyrion, 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 Fluffy, 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 Fluffy. Whoever comes first. This is my speed reading. Here we go, Tyrion. All right, whoa, nice. Let's see. What do we have? Sin with the glasses, full market. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. All right, these will be the last ones that we visit and then we'll hang out. All right, here we go. Uh, Tyrion, market box, what do we got? Hmm, what to buy, what to buy. These are all maxed items. I will buy two shells from you. Those are all maxed items and I will not be looking for those, but thank you. Not bad, all right, we're looking for that fluffy. That big fluffy. Where are you, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Oh, fluffy hamst. <laughs> Let's visit. All right, Fluffy Matt Hamps. <laughs> Tyrion is is named after your cat. You got a cat named Tyrion? That's so cute. One day I would like to see a picture of Tyrion. All right, what we got in here? Oh, I'll take these. Yeah, we can flip that. Flip these fish. Uh, and I'll flip these fish too. No, I need four spaces. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna flip, flip some fish. I need four spaces. We're gonna list this. I'm gonna give someone an Abdallah Nation coconut. <laughs> All right, first one to get the coconut wins, right? Go for it. First one to get that coconut. <laughs> coconut emoji win, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, coconut emoji. Uh, give me this mackerel for 50. All right, I think we're good. All right, there we go, Fluffy. It is currently time. You can see the, the change of day. It's currently dusk right now. I've only heard that there may or may not be upped chances of catching fish during that time. 
So yeah, that's pretty great. Let's flip these four and we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna list these here. Uh, did I see fan art of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp? Cameron, no, I didn't. Where did you put it for me to see it? You can tweet it at me, but sometimes my Twitter mentions are like buried with giveaway stuff. So yeah. All right, catching the last fish of the day. It's gonna be a football fish. In before all of flounder. Dang it. Foolish. <sighs> all right, no worries. It's all good. Okay, so here we go. That's gonna be it for today's episode. We had some fun. We chatted a little bit. Uh, I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are really fun. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the sponsorship. You guys are amazing. All of you guys that come on board as sponsors, you guys are so cool. And I love the fact that you guys are helping promote the program. Very soon, we're gonna get access to beta features in YouTube main that will incorporate sponsorship in some very cool ways. I can't really say how yet, but YouTube main is gonna have sponsorship very, very soon. So that's gonna be super fun. I mean, a lot of people have access to the beta right now in YouTube main. So jump on board with sponsorship, it's gonna be great. So yeah, all of you guys, uh, Andrew Lee, uh, Jushva, I think, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. But yeah, sponsor hype happening right now. Of course, as you guys can see, uh, we're gonna be giving away a $50 gift card to one of these awesome people that came by as a new sponsor. All of you guys that are previous sponsors, you'll also be entered into the very cool raffle, courtesy of my friends over at the Google Play Guild. All right, and then of course, the rest of the three gift cards will be one for someone who answers the comment question today, uh, two, for people who went to the giveaway site. So regardless of if you're a sponsor or not, you have an opportunity to win these awesome, generous gifts for my friends. So yeah, they're gonna give uh, you guys one of these physically awesome, new, redesigned cards shipped to your house. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, here we go, let's do it. Sponsor only chat happening right now. We're gonna do that, we can talk. Whatever you guys wanna talk about, we're here for you. Uh, I'm pretty pumped up to say hi. We've got uh, some more episodes of Pokemon coming up. We got Xenoblade. I've been working on some episodes all day today. It's a lot happening, man. I got a box of cereal that I'm gonna be unboxing uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be super hype, so we'll see. We shall see. All right, here we go. Let's jump in. Sponsor only chat. Hello, hello everyone. All right, Shy Guy. Oh, cool, dude, I didn't add you? Shy guy, I did not add you, I'll add you right now. Actually, you know what, I'll copy paste your name down, or your number down, let me get you. Let me get you, I will copy paste you, and I will hit you after the stream. Okay, what else you got? Um, dun dun dun, hello Russell. You can sell furniture and clothes by talking to the shop owner. No, that's not what I'm talking about. We know all that. I'm talking about putting your clothes and furniture in the market boxes. I haven't done too much of Pocket Camp, but I'd love it if you popped in. I will totally stop by a little bit later. My least favorite villager is Tom Nook. Didn't have, a ch didn't have enough bells, and he told me, weren't you listening? We aren't a charity. Maybe so mad. Huh. I think you commented on one of the videos. I think I remember reading that. Um, if you win the gift card thing, I want the gift card digitally. Well, too bad. They're shipping the physical ones out. <laughs> Uh, I'm really glad to be part of the sponsors. Hey, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I hope you become a sponsor for the end of eternity. Yep, do it. All right, hey, I'm glad to be part of the sponsors. I love that Gizmo's 17, but he doesn't look it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does not look it. And he, and he plays like a little kitten too. Great stream, no worries for coming late. Thanks for coming, Jasmine. Hey, thanks for coming, Fluffy. Uh, desperate need of pears. <laughs> pears are pretty, uh, pretty scarce. I only have one pear tree or else I'd give you them all. All right, Jusva, Jushva. All right, here we go. Oh, I got an old man. He's he's slow blinking at me. I know what that means, boy. I know what that means. Come here. When your cat slow blinks at you like this, that's them communicating. I know, buddy. Oh yeah. Okay, here. Oh my old man. Come here, boy. All right, little boy. We're gonna read comments together, okay? I know it's dinner time. It's currently dinner time, boy. All right, ah, uh, Christmas. You're worried you won't be able to get all the Christmas items before Christmas? I got all the Christmas items in like four or five days, so you're gonna be fine. You have the rest of the time. Use your, use your leaf tickets for the quarry and you'll get like an average of 25 tickets every time. All right, good night everyone. Have a good one, thanks for coming. Oh yeah, Colleen, hook me up with your code. Give me your code right now and I'll add it. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, jobs holiday party. Oh, cool. Who has a party on a holiday? On a Tuesday night? Well, I mean, you gotta think about it. You're not gonna put it on the weekend for the holiday party because people are busy. Do it, right? You need my own cereal with the uh, cats on it? What is it gonna be called? The Abdallah O's? Like, what is that? <laughs> Did Gizmo blink at you? <laughs> no, he didn't. Gizmo's just blinking naturally. No, but he's pretty good at communicating. Uh, he communicates almost to an extent. When he was at the vet, true story, true story, guys. When he was at the vet, I said, why does my cat Gizmo, who's 17, why does he meow like a crazy person in the middle of the night? He'll like sing at the top of his legs. And he'll just do that nonstop. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck, Gizmo? Come on, it's it's two in the morning, buddy. Go to bed. <laughs> and I asked her, I asked the vet, I'm like, what's the deal with that? And then she said he might be suffering from dementia. I'm like, what? No, my old man is not crazy. Even though I think he's a little crazy. No, but I mean, cats, I mean, I guess if they get that old, they might go a little crazy. They might go a little cuckoo bananas. So apparently that's what the vet says, but uh, we'll see about that. You're not crazy, dude. You just like singing and waking me the heck up. <laughs> it's bad. Gizmo does think he's in High School Musical, you're right. Dementia, baby? No, you don't have dementia. You're gonna prove that vet wrong. The vet said that you were 15 in our meeting and I promptly corrected her. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I promptly corrected her. I'm like, you think there's a 15 year old cat? You got another thing coming, vet. <laughs> Learn to count the cat's <laughs> stripes on their back. Because <laughs> that's how you tell how old they are. <laughs> no, that's not how you tell how old the cat is. Anyway, thanks for coming, sponsors. You guys are great. Oh, man. Right, Gizmo? Don't turn around and tell me that. Dude. All right. You see his tail wagging over here? Anyway. So thanks for coming, guys. We had uh, We had a fun time. And, uh, yeah, we're hanging out playing Animal Crossing. Your oldest cat is almost eight. Oh, cool. And, uh, your cat's name is Peaches. Cool. Eleven. That's awesome. That's awesome. See you on the next live stream. It'll be fun. Thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, the gravies don't have stripes. If you look at Rocco, or if you look at Enzo, they have slight, very so subtle striping. You have to really look at them. But yeah, uh, there's a boy in your class and he keeps talking about how he's going to Salt Lake City. Okay, well tell him. Tell him the joke and see if he laughs. <laughs> My cat meow when they use the box, so Gizmo, Gizmo may do the same. Uh, I mean, yeah, Gizmo, whenever he goes in the litter box, he bolts up the stairs whenever he's done. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> he's like, oh man, that reeks. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, good times. Gil Gizmo is brilliant. I hope my cat lives to be 30 because I love her so much. Cats live to 30? All right, well, here's to it, buddy. We're taking care of you, buddy. We got your um, ear medicine. We give you an IV for fluids twice a week. Yeah, we're taking care of him. Uh, can we have Milo for likes? Did you guys all smash that like button? Let's go. What are you guys waiting for? Yay, Terry Dawson, congrats on your first live stream. Thanks for coming. Uh, what Animal Crossing would I want to be? Animal Crossing character? I wouldn't want to be any Animal Crossing character. Tom Nook seems to have a pretty lavish life. Like, what? where does he get all his money from? Right? Child labor from his sons or nephews? Timmy and Tommy? I don't know. I'd like to be him. Your grandma's cat is 12. Wow, that's pretty cool. Your cat is long, furred, and black. Oh. <laughs> Kenga guy. I've almost had so many times seeing green eyes gazing at me when you wake up. Ooh, that's pretty scary. Hey, cooking mama? What is that? What? All right, I think we're going to be done. Gizmo, say goodbye. I got to feed this old man and his brothers. Man, I got to feed Gizmo and Milo, and then I got to work on some more videos. It's going to be fun. Today is a, a long day. Yeah, we can go party in the lounge. That's right. Party in the lounge. Exclamation mark lounge. Click on that. Longest cat, 38 years? Holy moly. That's going to be pretty crazy. Well, we'll see about it. We'll see. All right. 
Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Gizmo, you moved my camera a little bit. Thank you for doing that, boy. All right, dude, oh, here we go. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to everyone, Gimme. Oh, here we go, okay. All right, guys, it's me, Gimmo. Have a good day. You guys can click over here. Right, that's how you sound? Yeah. You guys can click over here. <laughs> oh, Gizmo, your voice is really fun. All right, dude, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the kisses. Mm. <laughs> Kitty kisses for the end screen. We like it. Anyway, click on all the links. Click on the screen here. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow for our next live stream. Thanks again to all you sponsors. Thanks to all you guys that watch the video live and post. And of course, thanks to all of our friends over at Google Play and the Google Play Guild for providing those awesome gift cards that you guys can win. Yeah, answer the comment question today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.